What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So I'm starting a day off out here at the Fiber Dam. I actually was just here about an hour ago. I was throwing around a spinner bait and I hooked into something giant. It wasn't a bass, pretty sure it was a catfish, but you'll see that here at the beginning of this video. And I'm back out here again. Now I have a white spinner bait. We're gonna start right down here to where I just lost that one. Let's see if we can get in some smallmouth. Thank you for clicking this video. I appreciate the support. Let's get fishing. Bro, I'm a huge fan of your channel, man. Yeah? Have any luck out here today? Bro, tearing it up, man. I just posted to your latest video. I said the hot's real, uh, the bite's real hot right now. Really? I'm using, uh, oh, well, jerk bait. Yeah, uh, doing real well where you just saw me at. Um, six out of 12 in an hour or so. Really? Yeah, that's pretty good. There we go, there's a fish. Feels pretty good. Honestly, it feels really good. What is this? Guys, I don't know what we hooked, but it is big and it is powerful. Might be a catfish. Yeah, something. Oh, he just snapped me off. I think it was a catfish. Dude, that was big. All right, here's the spinner bait I'm using. The other one I was using is very similar to this, except it just had a big willow blade on there, and it was purple and black. This one's white. I do have a trailer hook on there, just in case something slaps at it. The water is stained, I don't know if you can tell. That's why I'm using a spinner bait. I feel like it'd be a good choice for this dirty water. I'm just gonna make a few casts here. I'll probably try another spot in the river and also maybe even go to Penns Creek. Try that too. Kind of looked like something was chasing minis right here. There we go. There's a fish right along the bank. Like I said, I thought there was something chasing minnows. There was. There we go. Not a giant, but hey, at least we're catching fish. Well, at least we know the white spinner bait's gonna work out here. So I was just looking down the bank. So it pays to be observant. And I saw minnows jumping. Figured I'd just bomb a cast down there and see, and sure enough, smallie right along the bank. A little tip I can give you guys, like I said, just glass up and down the bank every once in a while. Just look. Sometimes there's fish chasing bait and you never know unless you're looking. There we go. Another one right along the bank. It's 
a little bit better. That one got the trailer hook too. That's why it's, it's nice to put a trailer hook on just in case they swipe at it. There we go, number two. All right, so I just ran into one of my subscribers. I always love meeting you guys. So if you ever see me out, just stop, say hi. A shout out to you, Seth. It was nice catching up, chatting with you about fishing. But now we're gonna move on to a different spot. I think I'm gonna try Penns Creek, then the river, or vice versa. I'll go another spot in the river, then the creek. But yeah, I'll see you guys there. All right, so here we are, good old Penn's Creek. I'm gonna start by throwing around this little square bill here by Susquehanna Custom Lures. Have it on my BFS setup. Hopefully we can get in some smallies here. One thing I didn't grab though, is pliers. I really wish I would have especially with these treble hooks. Oh, there we go, there's a fish. Sunfish. There we go, first one out of the creek, a little sunny. Oh, just missed one right there. Dang it. There we go. There's a fish. Drag slipped a little bit there. Yeah, here, fall fish. That's not what we wanted. I switched from that crankbait, went to the shaky head. Oh, there he is. You got this, bud. Maybe not. There we go. But yeah, like I was saying, I switched from that crankbait, went back to the shaky head here with the Nico leech on there. There we go, another one. Oh, it came off. There we go, there's a fish way out there in the current. That's what we're looking for. A little smallmouth. Sweet. A little Penge Creek Smalley. All right, well, I hear some thunder rolling behind me, so we're gonna get out of here, wait out the storm, and I'll see you guys back at the Susquehanna River. All right, so we made it out here to the Susquehanna. I'm gonna throw around the same lure I was using at the creek little shaky head here and I also have a little ribbit toad I want to try as well like I said nice overcast got some storms coming it's nice to get on a top water bite oh there's a big wake right there for the shaky head though Something just blew up on the bank right here. Well, came in really shallow. Let's see if we can get him. Here comes the rain too. Not sure where he went, but there was definitely a fish right along the bank. I kind of just took a break for a little bit. It is raining as you can tell, but let's see if we can get on some more here. 
I'm actually using, I switched my lure, I'm actually using a Nico Wino right now. I can't show you the color of this one because it's a prototype, but just using a little paddle tail swim bait. Oh, there we go. All right, it's banked. I just came out of nowhere and ate it. There we go, he's bleeding a little bit, got him in the tongue. All right, at least we're not getting skunked this evening. All right, guys, we're gonna end the video here. Get out of the rain, go dry off. But all in all, not a bad day of fishing. Spinner bait did well in the river, hooked into something massive. Plus I got a few smallies and shaky head did well in the creeks. So if you haven't tried out the Nico products or just tied on a spinner bait, I highly recommend it. But I'll see you guys soon. Stay fishing, stay anchored.